John, before we talk about Swindon, the cup draw, Norwich away, what are your thoughts? Oh, that's miles away, yeah. Um, not really giving it too much thought. I did uh, understand that it's the first meeting ever between Norwich City and ourselves, so um, we've managed to beat one of the boys from East Anglia. Um, who knows what can happen, but it is a long way off, Bruce, I have to say, and uh, I'll probably get, give it a bit more thought in the, in the forthcoming weeks. Focus then on tomorrow, Swindon. Yeah. Started the season well, a bit like ourselves, two wins out of two. Yes, and um, they've, uh, they've had uh, scored three goals in both games, uh, so they've had a good start. Not too sure how far they've been pushed by the opposition that they've played against. Um, but uh, they're a very good football inside who started last season very well as well. Um, I think they enjoy the, the quality of the pitches at this stage of the season in League One. You know, most of the pitches are in beautiful condition and uh, it certainly suits their style of football. Um, but it's a, it's a tough test for us and uh, we obviously just want to build on uh, a good start. Had two good wins and two good performances, but you're always looking for a bit more. What, what do you think we can improve on in terms of our uh, performances so far? Uh, giving the ball away. Uh, that's uh, um, a concern of mine that um, you know, we, we can actually pass the ball better than what we have done. And um, just decision making, I think, in, in that last third of the pitch sometimes um, has, not, has not always been what I want. But, you know, I, I always look for perfection, as you know, and uh, at this stage of the season, boys are still sort of finding their feet a little bit and uh, getting used to sort of playing under pressure. Um, new boys, obviously, well, they're all new boys, aren't they? We had 10 new boys on the field the other night. And uh, they're all wanting to impress the home fans. And um, uh, sometimes they've, they've tried too hard, you know, in, in many respects, but uh, just a little bit better with the ball retention. Um, just keeping the ball and uh, but other than that I, I, I can't fault their enthusiasm and their courage and um, just their passion that they play with uh, they've got a real sense of desire wanting to do well um, and if you don't have that it doesn't matter how much talent you've got um, it, it's all about hard work and uh, I can't fault my players with that at the moment and uh, long may that side of it continue and with two home games to come I mean a good opportunity now to really set a solid foundation for the season isn't it yeah, you, you've got to do it. You, you've got to perform at home. And, uh, you know, I often said, often say to, to, to my players about getting that first victory. Um, uh, sometimes winning away from home as well, you know, you, you can go months without getting that away victory and it becomes a, a real phobia with the players. Uh, but we've managed to win away from home, so we've put that one to bed and we've obviously won our first home match albeit in the Capital Cup, it was uh, still a home win. So um, we've won at home, won away. Uh, there should be no reason why we shouldn't uh, keep this run going. And um, sets, you know, if we get a good result Saturday, it sets up for Tuesday night at Bradford and uh, the game's coming thick and fast, Bruce. So uh, we'll be ready, looking forward to tomorrow.